Hello guys and welcome back to the channel, and for today's video, we'll be looking at this awesome method to cut your end time by half, this one is based on AI interpolation and can give you the chance to render your animation twice as fast. So in a simple scene like this one, if we would make a basic camera animation, say like this type of camera movement to show more of the exterior environment, and with my low PC specification, which runs on NVIDIA Quadro card, let us render a frame from this animation and see how long it take to get one image. And as you see it took me 49 seconds to render this on 20 samples, and we have 240 frames in this timeline, so with the use of the mighty calculator, we can mix those numbers, 49 second per frame, times 240 frames, equals 196 minutes, which goes over 3 hours, now the method we have for today will cut this time by half, and we get to that by rendering half of the frames we have, to do that, we go here in the frame range tab, and make the step value on 2, this one as it says will make the render skip a frame and render the next meaning we will get only 120 frames, I do also have the resolution on 1500 so I might drop down the samples to 15, this will make the frame render on 36 second, just to make it finish within an hour, there's also an option down under the final render sub tab called persistent data, enable it, this one will loads in once, and the info will stay in the memory cache so future frames will render quicker, I did change this to video type so I will put it back on PNG format, and it's by default on PNG so you don't need to change it, we also need an output folder for the frames so assign a destination, and let us render those frames. As you see here each frame has a name assigned by its number, so you get frame 1, 3, 5, and so on and so forth and here is how the frames look as a 15 frame per second. Now to fix this, we have the flow frames, which uses artificial intelligence to interpolate the missing frames. Once you're in the website, you can look for the download button, and just download and install the app as normal. When you finish, open it and it should look like this, and what you do now is quite simple, go to interpolation from the top, then from those browse options on the right, we need to assign the frames folder and the output destination, then in the output FPS, we need to make it 15 to export 30 frame per second video. You also get the video type in the bottom field to change it to the format you need, once you done, hit interpolate and let us see how long it take. So it took me 2 minutes and 7 seconds to fix those frames into a 30 frame per second video, and here is the output file. One thing to mention is that this tool works fine in animations where the movement is predictable, however with simulation of water and smoke or character rigging, it might show artifacts, just something to keep in mind, and that's it, hope this one been useful to you, and as always, stay sharp, goodbye.